I welcome Una to the Office of Residential Tenancies. For this video, we go to look at rental agreement. Rental agreement or you feel call them tenancy agreement. Now legal contract where landlord go take give possession of rental property to the tenant. Who go they pay rent? This go include rules, agreement fit be for more for mouth or if it be for paper written agreement or agreement with it for paper suppose include information like legal names of all the parties where they involve address of the rental property the amount of rent tenant go they pay now now go get complete list of the requirements for ort website if tenancy agreement now for mouth Landlord goes to put in contact information for writing within 20 days where agreement don't start. Landlords and tenant fit choose from the type of rental agreement they want to enter. Month to month, week to week, or fixed term leases. Monthly or weekly go continue until proper notice done day for termination. Monthly agreement go need one month notice. Why weekly agreement go need one week notice? For both cases, tenant go give notice day before rent go due. For example, if rent day due for 1st of June and tenant won't move out for June ending, tenant suppose give notice by May 31st. Fixed time tenancy now when landlord and tenant don't get agreement for specific time frame for the renter. This agreement go get end dates. Tenant go need notice to vacate because both don't agree on the end date before them start. But two months notice before the lease go in, landlord suppose offer renewal or notify the tenant say in no go in, in no go re, in no go renew the lease make tenant no say in go come out at the end of that lease i beg make you remember this every tenancy agreement must follow within then they call standard conditions this is not the rule we apply to every renter with the, this province by law copy of the standard conditions must they included with the every written tenancy agreement so how this go up, go work for example the standard condition says tenants supposed to leave the rental property reasonably clean and undamaged even if the tenancy agreement says tenants supposed to clean the carpet professionally before they move out Tenant no suppose do am if the tenant don't clean the carpet in a reasonable way before them leave. Standard condition they win always. Landlords and tenants suppose they familiar with the standard conditions to help them ensure happy tenancy. If you now need more information, I beg go to saskatchewan.ca/ort.